Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the transmission fluid and gasket transmission fluid filter and gasket in a 99 Volvo S80 it's a turbo I'll go over quickly with what's in it it has a GM gear tonic transmission it's a four speed gear tonic which requires Dexron 3 now General Motors introduced a new oil I'm not sure maybe in 05 it's called Dexron 6 which is better performance than Dexron 3 originally so I'm gonna put in the Dexron 6 oil I just went with the mobile one from the store this is what was available nearby Dextron 6 for General Motors. I'm gonna replace about 15 liters, three jugs. Um, now you need 15 liters in total to replace the oil. You need the gas kit for the pan, and here's the part number for the gas kit, and you also need the filter. Everything is made in USA, it's a, an American transmission on this car. Now, I did replace already the oil in the transmission and I have reused the gasket. And what happened after a year, it started leaking. So this time I didn't save money, I'm gonna go with the original gasket. It's not that expensive. So, they make sure that before you change the oil, your car has a proper fluid level which you check with the dipstick and basically it's not a procedure how to replace but it will give you an idea of, of what's needed so the filter, the gasket, three jugs of Dexron 6 oil I jack up the car up I remove, remove the splash guards I have a full set of splash guards under the car and you can see that from inside it's all in oil so it's leaking slowly but leaking and you need to I'll show you what's going on as you can see I think it's seeping around the perimeter of the pan all around I did look already with the it's it's actually I have wiped it wiped it like two weeks ago and yeah it does leak slowly so what we're gonna do we're gonna remove not all of them but partially the bolts and let the fuel the fluid run down into the into the oil pan so I'll be back with you in a moment So what I did is I put a pen under and I have loosened the bolts around the perimeter and I loosened all the bolts behind. So you can see it's leaking on one side. I guess it's gonna leak out approximately 4 or 5 liters. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it drain to the end and then we'll measure measure how much went out and we'll put so much in back when we install the new gasket and new filter so we'll let it drain for now until it stops leaking okay so there you go the it stopped leaking I held it with a rag the pen and I removed with the other hand the, the other hand the rest of the bolts and then I carefully lowered the pen and drained the rest in the oil pan now this is what you get so this is what you get the
the gasket, the old one, I just recommend, in my opinion, don't try to save, put a new one in, you don't want that gasket leaking, it's a pretty dirty job at home to do. And then you have the magnet here, and I told you before that I did replace the oil already and the filter like a year and a half ago, so you can see all the gunk that is attached to the to the magnet here it's pretty nasty and the oil you can see the color of it it's alright but new one is better so I got the new filter and the new gasket laying down I'm gonna throw away the gasket clean the pen everything clean the magnet make everything perfect and then also let's look under you can see the filter is in there I'm gonna pull that pull the filter out clean everything around the area as much as possible so in the future I can see any leaks if any and then I'll put the new filter in. So let's take the filter out and I'll come back. So here's the pen clean and you can see the magnet nice and clean. You can see the square here. Now I guess it doesn't matter which way. good the new filter and the new filter has this little seal which you have to pry out with a screwdriver and this is the old one you can see I have bent it a little bit this is the old one And the new gasket and a clean 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 kick pan I'm gonna show you under I have cleaned also oh my camera is a little bit in oil that's not good okay let's see It's clean around the perimeter. It's ready to put the pan on with the new gasket. And I'll show you that little seal where it goes. It goes right here. This is it. I'll put some oil and pry it in. And then I'm gonna install the pan and the gasket and you have to tighten that up to 10 newton meters which is around 7.4 foot pound I have a torque wrench which I never used before I'll try to use it today okay so I'll put the filter in and the new seal and I'll film it I'll complete to, I'll continue to video clip so the clean pan and the new gasket ready to be installed clean magnet and the filter is in just press it in, tap it with your with your hand it's gonna go in and then it's gonna stop so I'm gonna install the pan tighten all the screws by hand uh, do not over tighten that so once it's completed, I'll continue to film it. Okay. So here it is. The new gasket, new filter. The pen is in. All the bolts are tightened by hand. 
my torque range only starts from 20 foot pound and this one needs 7.5 and I need a different torque range so now whatever has drained from the pan we are going to measure that and fill that back in through the dipstick so all this amount that's in this pan it's pretty full I can tell you can see the oil here all of it we're gonna measure this is something that you need to find yourself how to measure maybe I'll just pour those in this empty bottles one liter each is around the top here and then I'm gonna pour in the new stuff through the dipstick let's take that out I have a funnel here this is the funnel so you're gonna put it in like this and you're gonna fill the new stuff whatever has drained from the pan once I'm gonna put the amount back in what we're gonna do we're gonna remove the transmission line from the radiator and look underneath this is the transmission one line is let's see which one is out let me see okay no this one is out so this line here this is line out the fluid comes out of the transmission and it goes it goes in the radiator here and then it flows through the right radiator and then it goes back through the upper line back back in so we're going to remove the line here what you need to do is push these green tabs in together and pull the line out but be prepared to catch some oil so this should be out oh the, the zoom this is the out and above is the in I'll show you the in one and this one is this is going back to the transmission I don't like this one because you gotta attach the hose to the radiator I don't like that one, that method I prefer to disconnect the bottom one so you press the stops together and then you pull the line out so let's do that uh, be prepared to catch some oil Now, look here, from my experience, if you're doing it the first time, order from the dealer these two O-rings, you need a total of four of those, one for the bottom, one for the upper, and the new green clip, you're not going to regret it, because 
if these rings fail while you drive on the highway, you lose all of your oil, you're screwed. So what I did, I put new O-rings. This is what happened to me. I parked the car and I see a puddle of oil on the ground. Why? Because my transmission line leaked. Because these seals, over 10 years, deteriorated and they just tore apart and I lost not all the oil I noticed on time because I drove in the city. So I put new O-rings. So order four of those and two green clips and replace both upper and lower. You can see how you press the two tabs to release it. So we're gonna put back in the fluid that we have drained through the pan. And you can see how dirty it is. So I did measure how much we, we uh, drained from the pan when I have dropped the pan. So I used that funnel to pour into this one liter. They're actually 900, but that's fine. You go up to top, that's a liter. So it's 6.5 liters out. Obviously, I've lost some on the ground there so that's gonna be approximate I'll put in still around six point what is it seven liters so six point seven liters I'm gonna put back in through the dipstick and then I'm gonna start the car and see if the pen is leaking at all just a couple of minutes run it and then what we're gonna do we are gonna flush the system by removing the line from the cooler this line I put it back in actually because it was leaking slowly and what we'll do we'll run the car four liters out and then four liters in we'll see how it goes I'll I'll go back I'll come back to you Okay, so meanwhile I put back in the oil. Okay, so I put back in the 6.7 liters. Now I'm gonna start the engine and we're, we're gonna pour out 3 liters out and then stop the car. The fluid is gonna expel from the line that I have disconnected here. Pai, uh, if you say stop, то стоп, окей, сразу же. Потому что если оно потечет с другого места, то надо останавливать. Заводи. Да, нормально. So you can see it's pouring out. One. And we have two liters. And now... Стоп! We have exactly three liters out. So what we do now, we're gonna fill those three liters back in. Okay, so you pour back in three liters, and then again you start the car, three liters out, three liters in. So now we're gonna take out four liters, start. Давай We got two liters. We've got three liters out. We've got Four liters out. Stop! Оно аж остановилось. So we got four and a half out. So we're gonna put four and a half in. Okay. 
I have left one liter just to make sure that I have some oil to add so what I'm going to do now is put the dipstick back in put the line back in don't forget so let's put it in that's it very easy clean around so now you know that this is the line out that goes into the radiator and the upper lane line takes the oil back from the radiator back into the transmission so the easiest way is just to use this one by the way this is the drain cock for the coolant if you want to drain your coolant it's a 13 millimeter socket and then you drain the coolant from here so I'm gonna check for any leaks on the pan put everything back together drive the car and we're gonna check the fluid level and I'll show you how to check the fluid level so I put back in back everything together and then we'll drive the car 15 minutes to warm the transmission and I'll show you how to properly check your transmission oil level I was curious to see what's inside so this is the filter yeah. it's actually a GM 4T65E transmission and this is what's inside there is an element that attracts all the gunk aha uh -huh, now I see how was it? I see so the fluid goes in and it's trapped from inside yeah it flows in by these ribs let's see again yeah the oil's coming it flows by by these ribs and then as it flows on the ribs there it it goes into the filter inside and everything all the oil filters and comes out from here so it's been trapped from inside the element so this is what's inside all this stuff is inside and I tell you there are there is particles in there which is not good yeah you can see the dirtiest part is here where it enters the filter see it it enters here through this hole it's filtered and it goes out from the filter okay okay so now you uh, I drove the car 20 minutes to warm up the transmission now I'll show you the proper way to check fluid level in your Volvo reverse for like 5-10 seconds 
I guess the oil circulates into some area. Drive, 5-10 seconds. Park, you wait one minute and we'll check the oil. This car has 258,000 kilometers. Okay. So now it's time to check the level. The, the transmission fluid is hot. Pull the dipstick out, wipe it clean. Now, do you see? Видно? Hot, cold. Hot, cold. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to say, it's all smudged up. Let's see again. Well, it's pretty much full. It has like two thirds full. Okay, so that's how you check the transmission fluid. Okay.